Hello, one of the biggest moments in the Polkadot ecosystem this year is almost here. WebAssembly, in short, wasn't smart contracts are soon launching on Astar, so let's go over why it's such a big milestone for Astar and also what actually is that mysterious Polkadot Inc. Since both Wazn and Inc. have been all over Polkadot Twitter lately, and it is almost certain these two terms will be also massively referred in the future, I figured it was about the time to finally get my head around Wazn and Inc. and share it with you, so here we go. So WebAssembly smart contracts launch on Astar on April 6, and this day will represent a truly pivotal moment for Astar, as it means Astar will support both EVM and Wazn smart contracts. How of a big milestone the launch of Wasm is for Astar is documented by what Sota Watanabe tweeted, with Wasm smart contracts going live, Astar will be finally fully functional. For this occasion, Astar is holding a community crowdcast called Wasm Launch Day on Thursday, April 6th, that will feature also Fala Network team and some other Astar's ecosystem partners. All teams will discuss what the launch of WebAssembly on Astar means for the Polkadot ecosystem and specifically for Astar. So what wasn't going live on Astar actually means? Up until now, Astar was supporting only EVM smart contracts. EVM smart contracts are written in Solidity programming language and they are used by all DeFi applications on Ethereum. And Gavin Wood has proposed and designed much of this Solidity smart contract language when he worked on the development of Ethereum. So Astar is now becoming the very first parachain supporting both EVM and Wasm. Wasm smart contracts are written in Polkadot's native smart contract programming language called Inc. In layman's terms, Inc. is actually sort of complementary programming language for the popular programming language Rust, so Inc. essentially extends Rust language with the functionality needed for writing smart contracts. So Inc. was developed by Parity specifically for blockchains built with Substrate. And Substrate is a framework for building interoperable blockchains. The reason why Wasn could be revolutionary for web free space is simply because EVM has its own limits and apparently based on this, EVM cannot meet the requirements resulting from Astar's partnerships with big Japanese enterprises. And to make it even more exciting, WebAssembly environment is compatible with the most popular programming languages used in Web2 such as Java, Rust and C++. The bottom line is, WebAssembly on Astar will allow programmers to enter blockchain space much more easily than it was until now. Thanks to Wasm, software programmers will be able to switch from Web 2 to Web 3 using the tools that they know from Web 2 and use them for building in Web 3. Isn't that amazing? Now let's look a little more at that Parity's smart contract programming language Inc. Inc has been in development since 2018 and the latest Inc iteration 4.0 was released in February. So to put things into context, smart contracts written using Inc are run by Wasm virtual machine, hence most people in blockchain space simply call them Wasm smart contracts, although they are written using Inc. On the other hand, Ethereum Virtual Machine, in short EVM, runs smart contracts that are typically written in Solidity programming language. Thus, smart contracts run by EVM are called EVM smart contracts, although they are written in Solidity. The cool part about Wasm smart contracts written in Inc. is that they are supposed to help developers to scale beyond the current limits of EVM, so they have the potential to drive much greater adoption of Web3. Some big people in Web3 space and definitely the whole Astar team believe that Wasm smart contracts are the future of web development because EVM environment has perhaps already reached its limits and EVM adoption might have already peaked. And this famous quote by Dr. Gavin Wood about WebAssembly being the future of smart contracts is surely well known to all of you. The limitations of EVM on Ethereum are well known to everyone, network congestion, high gas fees and so on. So I said that Inc. programming language will allow developers to write smart contracts for WebAssembly. Ok, but you may be still wondering what actually is this WebAssembly. 
The answer would be WebAssembly is a virtual machine that runs on all modern browsers. Alright, but now you might be confused about what is a virtual machine, so here is the definition. A virtual machine is a computing resource that uses software instead of a physical computer to run programs and operating systems and overall executes all kinds of computing functions. Simply, a virtual machine is a digital version of your physical computer or laptop. Sounds like pretty game-changing technology, right? Give this definition to naysayers who question the use case of blockchains and their potential for future mass adoption and watch how they respond. Since 2015 until now, EVM smart contracts, applications and blockchains have been in the spotlight, but chances are very high this is going to change in the coming years thanks to WebAssembly smart contracts. Why is that? Simply because Wasm virtual machine will provide much higher performance than EVM currently does. A higher performance means much more executed transactions per second, i.e. higher scalability. WebAssembly is supported by all most popular web browsers, it's fast, efficient and secure, all of which, in the long term, will represent extremely powerful competitive advantage over EVM. For this reason, it's reasonable to expect that all smart contract blockchains supporting both WASM and EVM will be much more future-proof than solely EVM-compatible platforms. WASM smart contracts will be first deployed on Astar's Canary Shiden network, then after a sufficiently long period of testing, WASM will also launch on Astar. I was also glad to have discovered this excellent article called What is Parity's Inc. on Parity Block. This blog post presents truly brilliant insights into why Inc. and WASM smart contracts will likely be revolutionary for the entire blockchain space and Web3. WebAssembly Virtual Machine is here described as industry standard, which is not specific just for blockchain space, but is constantly improved by the biggest tech companies such as Apple, Google, Microsoft and Facebook. That means smart contracts written in Inc. will benefit from this constant development of WebAssembly and from all of its future improvements. And here it says again, WebAssembly environment allows developers to write smart contracts in all the most popular programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, Rust and Java. Once again, this is incredibly big deal as it means experienced Web2 software developers can start writing smart contracts in any of these powerful programming languages. So this potentially opens the door for many great devs to enter blockchain space and particularly the Polkadot Eco. I feel like having at this basic understanding of these most essential technical aspects of Polkadot and parachains that I am most invested in substantially reinforces my conviction about the entire ecosystem. A bear market is the perfect time to educate ourselves and increase our knowledge of Polkadot. So if not now, when? Thank you for watching and liking and enjoy your weekend everyone!